Hi, I'm Jim. This is Jim's little boat, and I'm sitting in the middle of a mess. We should have launched last week, but we had some hang-ups, and I decided rather than whine about it, I'd go ahead and install the pop-top power assist. That's why there's two buckets sitting back on top of it. They're full of water, and they're currently holding the pop-top down. And I'm kind of reshooting the intro because I want to share with you why this might be of interest to you. When you buy the Pop Top Power Assist Kit from Catalina Direct, it's going to cost you 200 bucks, more or less. It comes with a great video and a well-written set of instructions, and so you really don't need this video, but there are two possible things that could make it useful for you to watch this. One, you don't have to buy anything and you can see what's involved in installing it and decide if you want to do it. And the second thing is I kind of figured out how to install it by myself in a safe manner. And that has to do with why the buckets are sitting up there. So if you're thinking there's a pop top power assist in your future, enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Yeah, and I forgot to mention, as always, my liability is limited to exactly what you personally paid to me to watch this video. We're going to be safe, but it's on you to be safe on your end of this whole thing. One of the things I like about Catalina Direct is they send you the stuff that you need to do the job. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I've got a shop full of tools, but I don't have one of these. It's a countersink for doing metal, and I would have had the devil of a time finding that. I don't think they carry it at Home Depot. So they sent that, and I'll show you the other stuff that came in the package. And we got a big selection of screws, including some Loctite. It's never enough. I always have to get extra. It'll be blue because it's stainless steel. They've got this custom-made brackets, and I see they have ball ends for the gas springs. And then they sent the cylinders, and they were very specific. Don't try to use the cylinders from uh, some other application. They are These are very specific to this application. So I think what we'll do first is I'll uh, go ahead and make the blocks that they talk about. To do this install, they want you to have a stack of lumber that's uh, five two by fours and a four by four. So a stack of 10 inch long lumber screwed together that comes out to be 21 inches tall. That's going to hold the top up while you work on it. And they have a little picture. It's not the world's greatest picture, but you get the idea. Well, as it turns out, right out of the gate, we have our first problem. The instructions clearly say, remember, I haven't even looked at the video yet, that you need four dogs to dog down the pop top. And I've only got two. So that means I've got to go order two more. And I believe that they're Concern is that the pop top's pretty powerful and you want to make sure you've got more than just gravity holding it down against those gas springs. I just got off the phone with Catalina Direct and they do have those hatch dogs in stock and they are on their way to me right now. I watched the video and I'm feeling a great deal more confident now. I think I'll watch it one more time, make a few notes on the instruction sheet and I think I'm getting ready to do this. Haven't quite figured out how to get rid of the helper yet, but that'll come to me. Now, if you were paying more attention than I was, you'll notice that I got the calculation wrong. I multiplied 5 times 3.5, but really, you use the 2 by 4s on the side. So what we need instead of 21 inches is 11 inches of height. So let's move over here and look at what I made up. In the instructions, they show you that you need to gain 11 inches to get the pop top up out of the way. And the main safety concern seems to be that you don't want the pop top to go too far forward. So my idea, since my sons and my buddies are never available when I want to work, is to make kind of a bench hook so that the bottom of the pile of lumber will hook on the cabin top and the top will prevent the top from going too far forward. So that's my idea to see if I can do this safely by myself. We'll go out to the boat and see if that's gonna work. I just went out and measured, and this pile of lumber needs to be bigger. It needs to be 14 and three quarters in the vertical and 13 on the horizontal between the hook and the front. And that's my boat, probably not every boat, but I'm gonna go remake this because it's getting to be a big heavy pile of lumber and I'm thinking if I made it out of two pieces of plywood, it would be a lot lighter and easier for me to handle by myself. 
after much dinking around, and I can't tell you how many times I walked back and forth between the shop, I came up with this device. It fits between the mass step, which is right here, and the cabin top, and it clamps down so it won't move around, and it holds the top up at the max. You can see those are extended. So I'll be able to do all the work I have to do, knowing this won't come down, and then I'm gonna change locations, and I will show you the safety pin. But I've gotten this top up and locked in position by myself, finally. Here's what it all looks like standing back. And here is the safety pin that keeps the pop top from going any farther forward. So right now I've got the whole thing set up at its max. Here's another shot of how the uh, Jim Slauson adapted, unauthorized, unapproved, single-handed support works. Here are the final dimensions of what I'm calling the MacGyver box that allows you to put this whole pop top together by yourself if you choose to do that. And don't try to get the dimensions now. I'm just going over this real quickly to show you what's going on. At the very end of this video, after the cute quip of the day, I will put in a still photograph that you can pause on and then if you want to copy these dimensions. Remember, these are just rough dimensions. Your boat will be a little bit different and you'll probably have to make some changes. At this point, we're back on the book and I'm just following the instructions. I've marked both the brackets, port and starboard, inside forward so that we can orient them properly when we reinstall them. I have, I'm under no illusion that these parts are interchangeable and symmetrical. This screw on the forward stanchion did not want to come out. So I got a square screwdriver and put an adjustable wrench on it and I got it out that way. I do have another method that might work. The other way you could do this is put a slotted screwdriver bit and a ratchet wrench and you could probably get it out that way. But whatever you do, don't put a regular screwdriver on that screw. It doesn't fit and then twist like heck because you just bugger up the head of the screw and it won't be very useful after that. The big deal with this step is you've got to drill a countersink in this soft aluminum and it doesn't take a lot of pressure. You want it to be flat but no more. So be careful, don't lean on it too hard. It's soft, it could go through very quickly. I will confess at this point that I've been a bad boy. I did the port side right after I did the starboard side. Uh, it's completely reinstalled. They want you to go all the way through on one side then do the other. But my head was in the right space and I was just wanting to make sure I did everything the same way. So I broke the rules. If it turns out badly, I'll never tell you. The next thing to do is to position this ball mount bracket on the pop top. And you can read the instructions, but it will make a lot more sense if you go ahead and watch the video twice. Getting this little piece in exactly the right position, fore and aft and side to side, is critically important. Well, doggone it, that is supposed to mount right there and it's supposed to go to the right up against the vinyl, but it can't because the hatch dog is there. So we're right smack up against the uh, Catalina Manufacturing 1977. We're not into total quality management yet. These were apparently installed kind of randomly. So now I will have to remove that so I can install this and I'll have to relocate that backwards. That sucks, but it's a 40 year old boat. It's before people were really into jigs and fixtures. So after much messing about, I got the uh, dog brackets out of there. And I've got the hole mark for the bracket, the first one. And it goes like so. As you can see, there's the hole mark. And they say drill all three holes at once. But my experience is not all three will fit. So I'm going to drill the first hole, kind of put this in place, and then drill the second and third holes. Well, we've got springs installed on both sides, and I can tell you, gravity is not enough to keep the pop top down and tight. So I have to figure out some way to hold it down and keep it safe while I'm waiting to get the dogs in that have to be attached. It'll take four dogs, two forward 
and one on each aft side. Right now the top is in its max vertical position. If you let it go forward of that over to here, it'll rip itself right out of the screws that you installed. So in order to keep it there, you would normally have a partner hold it in that position. But I'm working alone, so I came up with a different solution. These yellow lines are tethers that run back to the cleats and they keep the top from going forward. I fastened them to these handles I have on the cabin. You won't have those, but you could put some sturdy clamps there and accomplish the same thing. Left over with the two holes that used to take care of the dogs on the inside. So I'm just gonna get some short number 10 screws and some crown nuts and just go ahead and put some 4200 on them and seal those up to hide them. So I guess you can plan that if you have an older boat, you probably have to move the dogs. They mentioned that in the video. This job is just about done. I've got all four dogs in the pop top secure. I could go ahead and launch now if I wanted to. The only thing I'm going to do more than this is install little clips right above the dogs that hold them to the cabin top when they're not in use. And that's just a matter of following the instructions and measuring carefully. So I think we're done with this project and this video. Oops, little epilogue. I'm going to put a handle right there to help me pull this pop top down. I've ordered it, not here. I'll do it once we're in the water. And I do need to cut away, let me pan over here, a sixteenth of an inch right behind that cylinder right there.